everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you follow me on Snapchat you will know that I am constantly clearing out my beauty room and my wardrobe to make space for all of my new stuff. And with autumn on the way, it's definitely time to give my summer wardrobe a bit of a clear out and make some space. I've decided that I actually want to sell some of this stuff because some of it still has its tags on and some of it's just so nice and I know that it needs to just go to a really good home. And I'm gonna be selling these items via the app Depop, which I'm sure all of you already know anyway because most of you have asked me to sell my stuff on there. But if you don't, basically Depop is an app that you download onto your phone and you can just buy and sell your handbags and your shoes and unwanted clothes and things like that. And it just makes the whole process really easy and safe. So if you want to check out exactly what I'm selling, I've popped a link in the description box below so you can click that, download the app, and you can go and see all of the stuff that I'm selling. But for this video, I thought it would actually make a quite nice format to do a reverse haul because my hauls do really well on this channel so I thought that I could try on and show you a bit more about the items that I'm selling and then you can head over to Depop and buy whatever you like. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for two videos a week and let's get into the video. So this is my wardrobe and I know that so many of you have wanted to have a look inside. I'm sorry that it's not as glamorous as you would have hoped it would be. This is just pretty much your bog standard wardrobe. I do hope that in our new house we'll have a much nicer one, one where I can see all of my clothes because I have no idea where anything is anymore. It's all just chaos. It looks nice and tidy, but it's chaos, honestly. This is where I keep kind of like all of my trousers and my tops go all the way back there. Up here is my jackets and some coats, but not all of them, I kind of keep those separate. Dresses, sunglasses, and handbags and then watches go here. In here is just kind of like jewellery and then underwear and gym gear and then my shoes are all strategically placed here so that I can get to them. So I have made the most of the space but um, it's not ideal and I do find that it gets quite cluttered. So now is the time for me to sort through it all and get ready for autumn because summer is not going to be with us forever and as much as I wish I could wear shorts, all year round I can't. I've been thinking about a few pieces that I can pick out and I can sell and I'm just going to go through a couple of those with you. So now we have to get down to the part where I start picking some items to actually sell, which is kind of scary. Um, I don't usually sell stuff, especially not high price stuff. I just I'm quite selective, but there have been a few things that have been sat inside my wardrobe for a while now and I haven't actually worn them. So I've got to be brutal with myself now because there's no space left. So first up I have a leather jacket that I bought from Whistles and it's up here. Oh. And I bought this for about £350 and I don't wear it. It's too big for me and it kind of just drowns me and I don't think it's very flattering. So rather than have it sat inside my wardrobe, I am going to be selling this as well. So the next item I'm going to be selling is a pair of sunglasses. And these are by Valentino and I just don't wear them. I've got so many pairs of sunglasses that these just aren't really special enough for me. I really like to make a statement with my eyewear and I find these are just a little bit just, you know, subtle. They're not in your face like my usual style is. <laughs> I'm going to be putting these in the pile and these are going to be going straight on my Depop. So next up I have a handbag and you guys will know that I am a huge handbag collector and it's not often that I actually sell them but this one was just one that sat in my wardrobe for so long and I feel like it's what my old style was like and it's not really like my style is anymore. It's kind of matured and just moved along and this just doesn't work anymore so I haven't worn it in absolutely ages so it's time to sell it. It is the Mulberry Alexa and it's in this kind of powder beige colour with rose gold hardware and it has been worn rather a lot but it's still a great handbag and it still has a lot of life in it so this is going to be going straight on my Depop as well. So that is just a few of the items that I'm going to be selling on my Depop. They're slightly higher in price point but I do have loads of stuff from Topshop and ASOS so let's have a look inside of the bag that I've already sorted out and already rummaged through and show you what I'm going to be selling. So the first item that I'm selling is this linen shirt from Topshop. 
It's a size 8 and it cost £25. I bought this in white and this blue version and I've worn the white one to death but this blue one is just not something I've been wearing. Maybe the colour's not right, I'm not sure. But I've just not worn it and it's just sat in my wardrobe doing nothing. So I figured rather than it just sit there, I could sell it to someone else and um, they could get a brand new shirt for a fraction of the price. I intended to wear this with white jeans but I've actually not worn white jeans very much this summer if at all. So. I think that's why it's kind of sat in my cupboard not doing much. Next up is these shorts from Topshop and again these have never been worn. They did have the label on here but it's kind of like fallen off in the carnage in my wardrobe. And these are their girlfriend denim shorts so they come up quite high waisted but they're quite loose fitting as well. I actually got a pair from Abercrombie so I just haven't ever worn these and I think that they would go to a really good home because it was so hard to find my size in these as well that um, they must be quite hard to come by. I don't plan on wearing them anytime soon. I thought that these would be a really great addition to the haul as well. They are a size 6 so they are quite petite um, but they are loose so they're not too tight on you and they're just really nice shorts kind of like staple shorts that you just need in your wardrobe but I just didn't need these unfortunately. Next up we have another pair of shorts and these are from H&M and these ones are like gold dust. It took me so long to get my hands on these and I've actually now got them in black which was what I wanted originally but just couldn't find them. So now I just don't find myself wearing the khaki pair but they are literally so hard to get hold of and you can't find them anywhere. Whenever H&M put them back on their website they sell out immediately. So I definitely thought that these would go to a very deserving home quite quickly. So I popped them up on my Depop as well. These are a US size 4 because I can't find the UK size in them so I think that that's like an 8 or a 10, I'm not too sure. But they fit really nicely and they're very very comfortable to wear and also this colour will be really great in autumn as well so even though they're shorts you will get the wear out of them in autumn. Next up we have a blazer from Reese and this is quite a lightweight blazer so it'd be nice for sort of cool evenings or something like that. Unfortunately I have so many white blazers that I already love in my wardrobe but I just didn't need this. It's got a really nice neckline, it's very like sharply cut and it's just very easy to throw on over basically anything. This is a size extra small so I think that's about a size 6 at Reese and yeah I just thought it sat there with its tags on, this would go to someone that will absolutely love it so you will find this on my Depop. And then I'm also going to be selling this watch from Larson & Jennings which is a beautiful watch brand. It's kind of like a Scandi watch brand I think and they sell these on like net a -Porte, and they sell them in Selfridges and I think they retail for about 250 to 300 pounds. You'll probably notice that I often wear my Chanel watch so I don't really wear a lot of other watches and I prefer a bit of a chunkier watch so yeah that's going on my Depop and I think it's even still got the cellophane on the back of it. Yes it does, so this is like brand new. <laughs> so that is a little bit of a selection of the items that I am selling on my Depop. So if you wanted to pick anything up or you're wondering what price it was or anything like that, all of the information about all of these products and more is over on there. So click the link in my bio if you don't already have the app. Come and follow me at Lydia E. Millen and you'll be able to find absolutely everything there. If you enjoyed this video, please do let me know in the comments below and also let me know if you bought anything or what your favourite item was as well. You will also find all of my social media links in the description box below so if you want to come and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or Snapchat which I've popped on screen for you, you can do so right down there. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, bye!